Hello everybody, this is Joseph P. Farrell with News and Views. On Thursday, October 17th, 2024, the Nefarium, News and Views from the Nefarium, and I gotta tell you, uh, the Nefarium is busy. We'll get back to that in just a second. Tomorrow, don't forget, we have the vid chat at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That means get your comments and questions in no later than 10 o'clock U.S. Central Time tonight. Uh, we are not uh, predicting any severe weather or anything like that. I have been having internet problems, but I've been uh, trying to show up early in the vid chats to get all those smoothed out. So I'll probably be there a little early tomorrow to make sure we're up and running. Uh, so... Uh, if I don't show up, assume something has happened to my internet, but weather-wise, we're, we're good to go, and we're going to have our vid chat tomorrow. We've got already some good questions in. Don't forget, we're on the three-hour time limit, so the sooner you get your questions and comments posted, and try to remember to keep them focused, laser-sharp focus, get to the point to allow other people to have their comments and questions read. So far, we've not had to drop anybody's questions or comments and carry them over or ask them to resubmit to the next vid chat. But I'm just saying that uh, in case of that eventuality, that your chances go up the earlier you submit. With that in mind, um, I want to turn to a sad article that a lot of you sent me. And I thank you all, and it's it's time we discuss this topic again. I have, I have blogged about it. I've discussed it before. There is, behind this election cycle, a, a very nasty issue with respect to the border and the open border policy. And the issue is not simply the cultural and economic effects and drag on the country that this open border policy is having. The other and much more serious issue is the moral and humanitarian one. Because what we're seeing is an enormous expansion of human trafficking. And folks, I'm going to call it what it is. It's slavery. And it's a form of slavery that's particularly insidious. So I'm going to be reading an article that Jim Hoft uh, over at the Gateway Pundit penned and posted just yesterday because this article, short though it is, I think should focus everybody's attention rather well. And by the way, I'm not, I'm not citing this simply... Uh, nor exclusively as a political commentary on the current election. Uh, I'm, I'm equally concerned that this practice has gone on for so long under administrations of both parties. I mean, I can go all the way back to Ronald Reagan and remember debates about our, our open border and how porous it was and what I think the contemporary circumstances managed to do is focus everybody's attention on the fact that this is more than just about economics or cheap labor. This is a form of slavery and human trafficking, pure and simple. And the administrations of both parties are responsible for it. Um, if, there's, if there's anything that this article should bring out, it, it is that. But I want you to listen to this very carefully. The article's titled, Was This the Plan? Child sex trafficking has tripled in the last three years under the Biden-Harris open border policies. And I want to read a few paragraphs here, and then I want to give you my two cents worth of, of high-octane speculation about what I think is really going on. On August 2024, President Trump shocked a crowd of supporters in Glendale, Arizona, with a ghastly statistic. Trump told the crowd, quote, 325,000 migrant children have gone missing in America today. They're gone. They're missing, unquote. 
Kamala Harris, the Biden border czar, allowed them to be trafficked into our country. Trump added, quote, many of them are in sex slavery or they're dead, unquote. President Trump was quoting figures from an August 2024 Department of Homeland Security report. On August 19th, the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, published a 14-page report revealing more than 32,000 unaccompanied children did not attend their immigration hearings between the fiscal years of 2029 and 2023. Now, I'm, I'm skipping just slightly. What's more, nearly 300,000 of these kids that came across the southern border alone never even got a court date whatsoever. That's 300,000 unaccounted for children in the U.S. today in the last four years. As Drew Hernandez says, the open border massacre under the failed leadership of Kamala Harris has led to the largest human and child trafficking operation in world history. And again, I'm going to point the finger at both Democratic and Republican administrations here, folks, because I remember talk about the open borders going all the way back at least to Ronald Reagan, if not before. I think the nature of the reasons behind it have changed significantly, although I do think the reasons that I'm going to be advancing later on have always been a part of the picture. What's gone on, in other words, is something very foul, very evil, very corrupt, and it has been tolerated under the guise of supporting cheap labor and importing cheap labor. And notice I said, under the guise. To continue here, quote, <clears throat> at this point in the article, there is a picture of an 11-year-old Colombian boy that is used in the article that if it doesn't grab you like it grabbed me, uh, then, then there's something wrong. But here's the comment on it. Quote, an 11-year-old child from Colombia is working in the streets of New York City today. This is just one child interviewed by Muckraker in the expose on illegal child labor. The boy says he's been in the U.S. for about a month. A child told Muckraker he saw a child kidnapped from Times Square in broad daylight. And folks, I have no, I have no difficulty believing these stories. I don't. We'll get back to that in a minute. One child, oh, pardon me, one young child told the reporters that he forced that he forced was forced to work four days a week from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. in the morning. And guess what trade that might be? at those hours. The trafficking of children is not by accident, and let's call it what it is. The slave trade in children is not by accident. The article continues, quote, the Biden regime knew this would happen when they planned their open border crisis. Well, that's what essentially you get when you get a hair-smelling, grifting old man that's senile into the White House. And now this. Madeline Rowley at the Free Press reported this week that forced labor and prostitution among underage migrants more than tripled under President Biden, reaching record heights. And here I have to both agree and disagree. This is a national straight disgrace, a massive blight on our country. All thanks to Joe Biden and border czar Kamala Harris. And don't get me wrong, folks, I certainly do think that they bear an enormous amount of responsibility for this, not disgrace, but this evil. But like I say, I can remember these discussions and debates and, oh yes, we've got to fix the border, just go back to the Clinton administration. And they sold us a bill of goods about how they were going to beef up the border and shut it down and stop all this once and for all. And of course, here we are, a couple of decades later, under a different party's, uh, pardon me, under the same party's administration, and with intervening Republican administrations, and as I say, this has gone on, the, as far as I can remember, at least since Reagan. So as far as I'm concerned, both parties are involved, and both parties are turning a blind eye. So here's the problem. What's going on? Is this really a slave trade? Well, forced servitude, 
in prostitution or whatever else is slavery, like it or not. So we can look at this that the real, the real motivation here is simply money. But the money is coming, in my opinion, from more than just child prostitution or sex trafficking, although that, I'm sure, is a great part of it. But the article is hinting at child labor. In other words, these children are disappearing somewhere and working in something and toiling away. And I have to wonder, is this to mine lithium in the Congo or what? What's going on? Where are these children disappearing to? The other thing that I strongly suspect is that these children are literally being sacrificed and their organs harvested. And no, folks, I do not rule out harvesting of the so-called internet wonder drug adrenochrome or anything else. Not because I put any stock in the stories about what adrenochrome is supposedly able to do, but rather because the rich that are driving this trade are kooky enough to believe those stories and drive this trade. So organ harvesting and other things, I think, are a strong part of it. And then finally, I mentioned sacrifice. Now, another word for sacrifice in ancient texts of this sort is tribute. You literally have, I think, perhaps, a, a global human sacrifice network, and that part of this is tribute. So in other words, again, it's a form of labor and chattel slavery that's going on. And those children are disappearing somewhere. Where are they going? Like I say, I don't know. Lithium fields in the Congo? Are they going to some secret underground base in Antarctica? Are they even going off-world? I don't know. They're going somewhere, and they're being used for something. And the entire thing, top to bottom, is evil. The administrations of both parties have turned a blind eye to it. Now we have an administration that seems to be actively promoting it. For whatever reasons, and it's evil, what we need is a truly international effort to put a stop to this once and for all, wherever it is, and howsoever it's being practiced. The United States can't do it on its own. Mexico can't do it on its own. Colombia, Venezuela, the other South American countries can't do it on its own. And I do not think that this trafficking is confined solely to this hemisphere or to those two continents. I think Africa is obviously up to its earlobes in it, and I strongly suspect much of Asia as well. It's got to end. So that's the bad news from uh, the Nefarium, this, this human trafficking, this hu new human slavery uh, is once again out of control. And it has, to, it has to be serving some other purpose than simply sex trafficking and prostitution. Although that in itself is abominable enough. Imagine being a child walking thousands of miles from South America to this country and then being thrown into a prostitution ring and having to work the streets of New York City. And shame on those people involved in, in the other end of this in New York City. Unbelievable to me. Un absolutely unbelievable. So that's it for today's news and views from the Nefarium, everybody. Don't forget we have the vid chat, so get your questions and comments in no later than 10 o'clock U.S. Central Time this evening. And uh, remember, if for whatever reason I do not show up tomorrow, it's not the weather. It may be Internet problems. We've been having problems off and on the last couple of weeks. I don't anticipate anything, but just to let you know ahead of time. Uh, there are already questions and comments submitted, so remember, the earlier you act, the better off you'll be. Anyway, that's it for today's news and views from the Nefarium. I wish that it could have been better news, but I think everybody needs to at least know about this, and if you're the praying sort, put it on your list of things to 
pray for an end to um, and that those involved in it uh, repent and, and if not face some justice for their actions. And that I included all the way up to the people in the White House. So that's today. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye, and God bless. We'll see you on the flip side.